All right, hey, hey, everybody, RV enthusiasts here. Nice seeing you again. My name is Bruce. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, but let's get started on a new video. Today, we're gonna put together a new bike. Uh, yep, I went on vacation, came back. A manufacturer had called me. They put out this new bike uh, last month. I got it uh, just as I went on vacation, um, and we're going to assemble it, ride it, and talk about it. So let's get started. All right, guys, this is the Apis A4. This is a foldable compact bike, and this bike comes with a lot of features, and I just want to take it out of the box. We'll assemble it, and we'll show you what those features are and talk about the bike, take a nice ride. Very compact box. Uh, this box is probably the smallest box I've ever opened for a full-size 20-inch bike. Very nice features. Very pretty bike. Compact, man. They compacted it very good in this, in this uh, box. Charger and some other accessories. All right, so this bike comes in four colors, white, black, gray, and uh, this blue here. Uh, kind of a steel blue, kind of a gunmetal blue. A very pretty bike. All right, let's take all these strapping off. Very nicely painted metal. You guys are gonna be shocked when I tell you the price of this bike. These are 20 by three inch tires. So they're using three inch tires so you can get a little bit better mileage off the battery. The battery is a 48 volt, 11 amp battery. Uh, so you think, at least I thought, when I saw the specs on the bike, I thought, wow, the battery's a little bit small for the bike. But with the three inch tires, you get a lot less friction The hidden gem and secret that I haven't told you is this comes with a thousand watt Bafang motor. So that's why I thought the battery was a little small because it's, it's a very big motor, very powerful motor. Uh, and this thing goes, this thing goes 28 miles an hour. And so some of my regular viewers will be, well, where were you RV? What happened to you? Why, why have you been missing? Well, a couple of reasons. One is, I stopped reaching out to manufacturers. Um, I just had gotten too many too quickly, and it became a real full-time job. Uh, and I just, I, I, I was just getting kind of sick of it. Uh, when Apis reached out to me, I was just about ready to come back and do a little bit more. Um, and then I went on vacation. Then I got sick, actually. Uh, my sickness was, uh, I had some kind of stomach virus going on that was related to um, pneumonia. I had pneumonia as well. The pneumonia, I didn't know it. I, w I, went, into the, I went into the emergency room for the uh, for, for the stomach portion, but they said, nope, you got pneumonia, and they put me in the hospital for a few nights. I'd never been in the hospital 
overnight except for when I was born, so that was a new experience for me. And then I get done with that, and they said it's going to take you a couple of months to recover, and it did. It truly took me two months to recover. It took me two months to recover. Uh, I, I had energy of about 10 minutes, and that was it. After 10 minutes, I'd go back in the house and do nothing. But now I think I'm pretty well better. These are very nice Chow Yang tires. Um, again, 20 by 3 Chow Yang. Nice aggressive tread. Uh, Chow Yang is one of the brands I really like. They just have a nice ride to them. So it's interesting they used a very little packaging in the box, but they wrapped the bike very nicely. So, so uh, it wouldn't get damaged. And I'll have a couple more videos for sure for you that I uh, that I already know I've got uh, one I have uh, the product in hand and the other it'll be here tomorrow. So I just want to share with you. This is not a one and off. One off. Uh, I've got a I've got a bit more to go, uh, and I just wanted to let you know we're in for a series of videos here, guys. A little note to Apis: instead of these expensive straps, some lightweight uh, masking packing tape would be easier for the end user. I know you guys have been doing this a while, so it's nothing new to you, but uh, all these straps to, to cut, Woo, a lot of straps. She's beautiful though. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag. Uh, well, let me let me finish up. I want to get this put together a little bit, and then I'll let the cat out of the bag on the cost of this bike. The other really nice thing. The battery is 48 volt. I told you it was 11 amp, but the battery is UL approved, and they're Samsung batteries. 21700 Samsung batteries. All right, so how I'm keeping it standing, see, I, well, it's going to stand on its own, but I put my foot here in between this bracket just kind of to hold it up, so when I assemble it, it's a little easier to assemble for me. Okay, so... Stand it up. I'm going to rotate this around. Now you could leave this down and put this in. That might have been easier. But we're in. Yeah, all the specs on this bike are really pretty good. Uh, there's one thing I don't know, and I'm going to check that out here in a minute. But beyond that, all the specs on this bike uh, are, are very, very nice parts. All right, so that's the basics of the bike. Now we'll finish putting it together, and we'll talk some more about it. Rubber grips, twist throttle, the standard Shimano 7-speed uh, shifter up here. A monochromatic uh, display here, the beautiful battery. Here's a very unique thing from the front neck here to the back. One piece frame. Yes, that includes the rack. One piece is all this. This is one piece. Well, except for we're, hit, we're hinged here. So, in a sense, it's two piece. But if you were to get the single non-foldable portion of it, it would be one piece. They manufacture single piece frames. This one happens to be two because we have a split here for allow for folding. But uh, she's a beautiful little bike. Very pretty. Uh, the color 
is a, a, a flat um, blue. All right, I'm going to finish up and uh, we'll talk some more about it. Yeah, I got over pneumonia just in time to end, end the uh, after effects of it. it. The after effects is what got me because I couldn't do anything for more than 10 minutes. But as soon as that was over, I vacationed again this year to uh, Alaska, uh, another cruise to Alaska. Because last year, you know, my son didn't, my, old, my younger son and his family didn't get to go because they were having a baby. So we, we knew we were going to do it again. So they get to go. All right. That's it. Suspension seat, guys. Pretty awesome for what it is. It's a suspension seat. You lift up here, you take the battery out. Um, very nice. Okay, now we're going to get the rest of the parts and put it together. Uh, yeah, I'm sure their tools are in the box. Let me go get the tools and we'll put it together. All right, so. We have the uh, pedals. Let's put those on. The pedals, of course, are folding as well. Comes with the bell. And as usual, a tool kit. All right, now we're going to put the front wheel on. I'm just going to tip it up. We take this off. We don't keep this. This is just a shipping bracket. Okay, on this bike, I'm going to take the bolt all the way off. And I'm going to take this. Uh, washer that's a lock-in washer off and I'm going to do it on both sides. Ordinarily I don't take the, the whole bolt off with the washer but in this case I think it'll just be easier to show you how to do that rather than rather than fighting with it. Now these are not hydraulic brakes so at this price point I absolutely understand it. Um, Something I always love to see are hydraulic brakes, but for the price of this bike, they elected, well, they have to put uh, standard mechanical brakes on because hydraulic brakes are usually 150 to 200 bucks. That would really increase the price of this bike. This bike is uh, sells for just over $1,400, but uh, with the way things are going with the economies and everything else, and they have a sale on this, this bike is $759. This is a lot of bike for $759, people. And that's why I got it, because I thought, wow, this is a, a great offer of a nice bike. It goes 28 miles an hour. For $759. So that's why I said yes to them. I was like, yeah, I'll take that bike. That's that's just too nice of a bike to uh, to not take and show you guys how wonderful it is. Now you want to take this little notch. There's a hole uh, as you put it on at the very top. You just you just move it and get it in the hole because that way it uh, it locks it in in the in, in case your front wheel came off. Uh, or came loose, it wouldn't come off. It, it'd uh, stay in those holes unless you let those bolts fall all the way out. All right, and then from here, just set it as tight onto the fork as you can, and that should automatically straighten the uh, the wheel. So these bikes typically come uh, about 95% assembled, and that's what this one is. This one's about 95% assembled. 
you got to put the pedal on pedals on you have to put the seat on which is just shoving it in the hole you got to put this on which is just shoving it in a hole then uh the tire you just saw how easy that was and then really the last thing uh two little things is putting on the front fender if you want the front fender on you got to put it on if you don't want it don't put it on you'll get you'll get if you're riding in rain you'll get uh you'll get splashed so and here's the last thing yeah this kind of tape apis <laughs> If you could tape all that packaging on with this, this would be uh, a lot easier. Um, and I think cheaper for you guys. You know, I've done over 40 bikes and uh, four scooters. And a lot of manufacturers use those uh, zip ties, those zip, zip ties, and they're fantastic. They really are fantastic. But for the, for the cost, you know, they can save themselves a few dollars by, by using the tape instead. Metal fenders, guys. These are really nice fenders. Painted very well. Uh, very nice. Easy assembly. I call this like an egg style tubing because it's rounded here. It's a little oblong here. Uh, very nice for strength. Very similar to many, 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 many bikes I have that are uh, higher priced than this. AIPASbike.com. If you want one, that's where you go and pick one up. I uh, This bike is priced so good, I'm going to have to uh, email them and see if they're going to give me a coupon to help at all but if, if if they're not giving coupons out still great price to price bike to pick up now if i ride it if when we ride it it's terrible then i'll tell you straight up it's not worth the 759 dollars because i have no obligation oops i have no obligation to them to tell you this is a great bike or this is a good bike or this is whatever but from what I'm seeing here that's a heck of a lot of bike for $750 I used to call these like a uh, RV campfire bikes right because they're, they're perfect for an RV they're perfect for a small boat this bike weighs all of 55 pounds so this is even a very lightweight one in comparison to most others like this. This bike uh, and many other brands is 70 to 75 pounds. So uh, yeah, this is this is this is very nice, guys. Very very nice. And I believe now they just sent me the bike, but I believe there's some other objects they'll send with it uh, as as. Uh, tokens of their appreciation for you buying the bike now they may they may not it may already have it may be the front light the back light the uh wrap included wrap all that stuff but let me tell you this is a nice bike we're almost completely done uh assembling then i will recharge the battery make sure i'm 100 percent charged and then we'll take it out for a ride i'll put air in the tires and we'll take it out for a ride Yeah, when I got sick, I, I was I was having stomach issues, and that's what put me in the hospital. I thought that's what I was going to the hospital for. I I was uh, I was dehydrated. They said they said I lost a lot of water 
because all I was doing was <laughs> was throwing up. Uh, and finally, they, my wife said, no, nope, you're going to the hospital. Um, only because she don't like the noise. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I went to the hospital, and, and uh, they, they put me in the hospital. Well, I, I did the emergency room, and then they let me out. He said, oh, take this, and that'll help. Didn't do anything. Uh, didn't help. It was supposed. To, it was called Zofran. It did not help me at all. And uh, I had to go back the very next day. They gave me a different product for for nausea, and it worked really, really well. And uh, then they kept me in the hospital for a few days, um, making sure that I was going to be okay, and giving me all kinds of uh, IV. And then they said, "Yeah, it'll be a." Could be up to two months for you to get better and it was it was two months um and i went from one week not being able to do anything but 10 minutes of work and then i could break an hour or two later 10 minutes work uh napping all the time i still nap but i, I love napping uh but then um it was like the following week i was perfectly good. I, I got much more energy than I had. And uh, it was rough. It was rough. All right, we're assembled. Now I'm going to charge the battery. We'll get going from there. I'm going to tell you this battery is 11 amps. So the charger is going to be a two amp charger. I just know that automatically. It's a two amp charger on 11 amps. If you went from like 1% to 100%, that's going to be a five and a half hour charge. Many of the e-bikes, no matter if you get a 3 amp charger, because you're usually charging a higher amperage battery, uh, take roughly 5 hours. If you ride this uh, down to 40% and then back to 100, you know, and charge to 100%, that's just 3 hours. So that's very typical of, of e-bikes. Um, this has the click plastic, uh, like Welgo uh, pedals. Uh, it does have a single-sided uh, I call them pant catcher, keep you from catching your pants. Uh, 160 millimeter rotors uh, with the manual brakes. Uh, it breaks down to fit into a car very small. This is a very, this is easily one you could probably put two in your car uh, or uh, certainly your RV. This would be a perfect RV bike for tooling around campgrounds, going from your campground to a restaurant to go eat. Uh, this bike says it'll get uh, 62 miles per charge. Um, we in America have never gotten 62 miles on charges uh, on, on even bikes that, you know, have 20 amps. My guess is this will get 22 miles, 20 to 22 miles, not pedaling at all. So that's kind of what I do. I, I'll not pedal it to see how far they go. And my guess is this is going to get 20 or 22. Now pedaling you might get 35, you might get 40 if you're using, you know, like a PAS-1 and you're using some of the energy to, to get it going. Uh, but I don't ride that way. I ride it uh, to make it do the work for me. All right. Now, let's get it charged and take it out for a ride. All right, guys. That's what it looks like out in uh, daylight. The Apis A4. Uh, on the website, they call it a gentry, but this is what it looks like. 20 by 3 inch tires, uh, the 48 by 11 amp battery, 1000 watt motor, uh, 160 millimeter manual pull brakes. Uh, we have a rear tail light, brake light, front light. Uh, over here we're looking at a Shimano Turney uh, shifter, uh, collapsible um, pedals, full suspension, lockout available as well, and uh, let's, let's get a ride on it. Let's see what she rides like. The display is right here. Zero through five and back to zero. Zero has no power on the throttle, so that's a good thing. So we're going to go straight up to 
well let's go to through one first so let's see how this looks let me see what that looks like there we go all right so in PAS1 she's doing uh, about eight miles an hour 7.1 that's what we're doing I was going downhill 7.3 7.4 and that's it PAS2 we're gonna pick up speed here PAS2 is 11.2 PAS3 14.9 PAS4 is 18.6 PAS5 is 20 there we go brakes uh, they're braking they're not squeaking that's a good thing um, now this is straight out of the box guys so I don't know what it's going to be like uh, at what speed it'll go when we're when we make some adjustments on the uh, display yeah so it's a 20 mile an hour bike out of the box but we know that it says it's a uh, we know for a fact it says it's a 28 mile an hour bike so we're gonna see about that Oh, I haven't been over here in a minute they started to build and it looks like they put a little road in and they got some some stuff in but no they haven't started building yet I think they've sold it three times I think that people just keep backing out of it it's a pretty bike it does have some bosses for uh, a water bottle And we're going to see how it does coming up the hill. This is a 72 uh, Newton meters of torque uh, bike with a 1,000 watt mo Bafang motor. The motor is pretty quiet. Oh, my neighbor is putting in some extra something. It does have cruise control. And now we'll come to a break. The brakes are smooth. Um, the, the front brake is a little tight yet. I should back that off a little bit because it's a little tight. But uh, overall, and here's the, there's the bell. I should move this over and put the bell here so it matches my finger. Yeah, it's a pretty bike, guys. Uh, it takes this hill with no problem, and we're at 18.3 miles an hour taking the hill. 19 now. Now we're flattening out a little bit. Now we're at 20.3, and that is the speed it's going to go until we make an adjustment in the display. It's a nice size bike. It's a great uh, fit. Would be a great fit for for any uh, RV, uh, back of any SUV or truck. Yeah, rides really nice. All right. And we're gonna come up here and now we are going to see if we can make a change in the display I want to see if we can get us the higher speed uh, while we're just kind of here. Uh, I don't know the sequence of uh, information on this. There we go. Let's see. Oh. I think that was two. One, 
48, 10, 1. That's the tire size. I think that is the speed right there. Yeah, and I'm going to put it at 45. And then after that, I think I'm going to come back to 1. Well, I don't know what those were. Anyway, we're going to turn it off. Oops, it's come out of it. There we go. Now we're in one. All right. So now I think we're at 45, which I think is the top speed, uh, which will get us to 28 miles an hour. Let's see if that is the case. So we'll come down here one more time. And I think that's the case because we're already at 20. Yeah, that's what it did. So move it from 32 to 45 on P8 and now we're a 30 mile 27 28 mile an hour bike now we're going 29 and a half 28 and a half and there we have it all right so I'll go over some of those with you uh, in this video I'll, uh, I'll take some pictures and show you the one to keep, which is P8 is set at 32, and you want P8 to be set to 45. And then that one setting changes you from a 20 mile an hour bike to a 28 mile an hour bike. Now, as for the 1,000 watt motor and 72 newton meters of torque or foot pounds of torque, um, I'm going to tell you this. It doesn't feel any different than uh, my faster bikes or my uh, 750 watt motors. So this could be a 1,000 watt motor peak. It just doesn't say that. But my guess is this is a 1,000 watt motor peak. So if that's the case, it's really a 750 watt bike but still that price um and the fact that it goes 28 miles an hour here we go we're coming to the flat starting to pick up speed again because we're flat slow down before I get to the corner 27 7 before I get to the corner now the brakes don't make any noise that's great very nice uh, manual pull brakes very nice manual pull brakes so guys for seven hundred and fifty nine dollars this is a uh, absolute yes uh, manual brakes that are quiet they don't squeak um, it's a nice bike. Certainly a, a thousand watt motor peak. It's probably a 750 watt motor is my guess. Um, but everything about it is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Now let's see if I can come down here. See if I can show you. We'll get inside the garage a little bit. See if I can show you. Uh, now let's go outside the garage here a little get where we're better for sun okay so right here this is uh this is the standard see i've already gone two miles on it but you push the plus and minus and hold it now we go into p the p settings so i'm going to uh move the p settings to p1 well let's go to p1 p0 there we go so this is i think this is how how much torque you want it to have on takeoff um, and I'm gonna leave mine at 2 then we hit P2 that's your miles versus your kilometers I'm gonna leave mine at miles hit the middle button 
That 48 is for your voltage of your battery. We hit P0410. I'm not sure what that is, but we're leaving it at 10. 5 is 1 or 0, 2. I'm going to leave it at 1. Uh, assist levels. Medium, high, and extra high. So I'm going to leave it at 0 because that looks like it's how much assist it's going to give me. Uh, that's the tire size. P7, don't know what it is, going to leave it. And here's the one, P8. If I hit the negative, it goes to 32. If I hit negative again, it goes to 45. We want 45 because that's the higher speed. Okay, P01 is 2. P02 is 1. P03 is 48. P04 is 10. P05 is 0. P06 is 22. P07 is 1, P08 is 45, P09 is 0, P0, P10 is 2, P11 is 3, P12 is 1, P13 is 12, P14 is 20, P15 is 39, P16 is 2, P17 is is 0, P18 is 100, P19 is 0, P2 is 0, and now we're back to P1. Nope. Now we press the plus and the minus. Now we're back out and we're where we should be.